up guys? Welcome to episode 37 of Retro Buyer's Guide. Today we're going to be learning how to soft mod an original Xbox. There are a lot of cool things you can do with the soft modded original Xbox like play backed up games onto burned DVDs. You can load emulators and play retro games uh, from classic consoles and uh, you can customize the theme of the dashboard when you load it up. A lot of cool stuff you can do so uh, without wasting any more time let's get started. Um, I have some tape here. This is what I'm going to use to make a cord that is able to get the files onto the Xbox. So this is just a standard uh, breakaway cable here for the Xbox. It has the Xbox input on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and combine it with this cable here, which is a female USB to a male USB. and generally you can find these pretty cheap um, I found this one at Goodwill I think it was like 99 cents or something like that um, they're really cheap you can also buy these cords pre-made so you know you can get one that already has a female USB on one end and then it has a uh, Xbox controller input mail plug on the other end and uh, you can get them shipped from eBay or Amazon uh, but I'm going to go the cheap route. You're also going to need a flash drive to do this. And in my experience, SanDisk works the best. However, it's going to be a little harder to come by than just going to the store and buying this brand. Xbox can only read, uh, I believe, 4 gigs and under. And so you're going to need to find one of these that is pretty small by today's standards. 4 gigs and under. Uh, if it's over that, for some reason, um, the Xbox won't be able to read it, um, but this one does work. I have tested it before, uh, 4 gigs and under again, and uh, when you plug it in the Xbox, with the cable we're going to make, it should be able to format it in the Xbox format, and then I'll show you how to get the exploit files onto this flash drive and plug it into your Xbox so that it can be read and copied onto the Xbox hard drive. You're also going to need a copy of an exploitable game. The one I'm going to be using is Splinter Cell Stealth Action Redefine. Note that it is the original black label, not the Platinum Hits. I think the Platinum Hits still work, but just in case, if you can find the black label, I know this one works for sure. Um, there are a few other games that work, like Mech Assault, and I believe um, Agent Under Fire, 007 Agent Under Fire works. Uh, so you can use those exploits as well, but I'm going to be showing you again how to do uh, the soft mod with Splinter Cell. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one here. This is the Xbox breakaway cable. And you want to make sure to leave yourself plenty of space here to, uh, to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right there in half. And we are going to splice it so that we can get to the colored wires inside. So wire strippers would be really good, really good uh, and handy to have right now, but unfortunately I don't have any, so we're just going to have to make this work. Let me just, didn't get cut on, so I cut on one side, but I didn't cut on the other one. So basically you want to just very lightly cut around so that you can get the, the black casing off here. Okay, so now we've got the black casing off and you can see there are some colored wires inside so we're going to go ahead and get to those. Okay, now that you've got the wires stripped, uh, what you want to do is you want to take the ends of them and tie the colors together that match. So for instance, uh, red and red is going to go together, green and green, black and black, white and white, and uh, just twist them together is all you got to do. So just take the two ends, kind of just twist them together with your fingers like that. Uh, do all of them and then what I do is just put a piece of tape going over them uh, so that uh, they won't come apart when you plug it in the Xbox. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Uh, then we'll be ready to format our thumb drive. The next thing you need to do is turn on your Xbox and then select settings. 
Then you want to scroll down to System Info. What we're doing here is we're checking to see what version firmware you have installed. Now unfortunately there's nothing you can do except wait for this long message to scroll, but what you're checking for is to make sure that you have version 5960. If you do not, you need to insert an Xbox Live game like Halo 2 for instance so that you can update your Xbox. Okay, there you go. You can see D on dashboard says 5960. We're good to go. Now it's time to format the thumb drive. So what you want to do is select memory and using the cable that we made, plug it into port two of the Xbox and then plug your thumb drive into that cable. Wait a moment and you should see the thumb drive light up and eventually you'll get this message. The memory unit insert isn't working correctly. It has been erased. And that's a great thing because that means it's been formatted into the Xbox format. All right, now we're going to need a few things from the PC. So the first thing you need to download is Explore 360. The latest version I found was version 0.9 beta 6. Uh, pretty easy to find if you Google it. The next thing you need to download is the Xbox Crazy Endure Soft Mod Pack. I will have links below the video, but again, both of these files are pretty easy to find. If you Google them, extract both of them to your desktop. Next thing we need to do is go into the Xbox Crazy Endure Soft Mod Pack and you want to locate SC for Splinter Cell and go into the UData folder. Now those two folders you see there are the ones that we're going to be putting onto our flash drive. It's literally as easy as dragging those folders onto the partition in the Explorer 360 program. That's it. Drag them onto partition zero It'll copy the files over, and then once it's done, we're just going to click on partition zero to make sure the files are there. So let's go ahead and wait for this to copy. It takes just a moment. And these are the actual exploit save files that we're going to be using to install the soft mod. There you go, files are there. Now we need to get the exploited save files back onto the Xbox by plugging in the flash drive one more time into the cable and then into the Xbox and copying the two files that you see over to the Xbox hard drive. It should take just a second, make sure not to interrupt the copy process. Make sure these two files are the only files on the Xbox hard drive. So if there are any game saves, make sure you delete those first before copying these two files over. Now all that's left to do is to put in your copy of Splinter Cell and let's go ahead and soft mod the Xbox. Once you get past the title screen and the game is booted up, you'll be ready to mod. Go ahead and let it boot up to the menu. There we are. And all you need to do from here is hit start game. So press A and you'll see Linux. That's the exploited save. Hit A again. And once again, hit A. And it will boot into Unleash X. We can now soft mod the Xbox. Now the first thing we need to do is back up the EEPROM. So go ahead and click that. Press A on Backup EEPROM. And it's just giving you a disclaimer. You need to do this before you soft mod. So go ahead and click Yes. And hit OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to copy a few files and boot into Remote X. Once you're here, press A again to back up EEPROM. You'll get the little smiley face. Once that's done, you can go ahead and select Return to the Main Menu. And that's all you need to do there for backing up the EEPROM. All right, now you want to select Install Endure Soft Mod and NK Patcher.06. You'll do 0.67 if you're installing a larger hard drive, uh, but I'm not. Uh, then you want to select Unleash X Dashboard because it's just easier to deal with. Um, and then go ahead and click OK. And yes, proceed. And uh, from here, we have entered the home stretch. It is now going to copy a lot of files. It's checking to make sure the EEPROM is present, but we just backed it up, so we're good to go. Keep pressing A to get past these prompts and let the files copy. Now this is going to take a little while, so go ahead and set your controller down, grab yourself a glass of ice water, and when you get back, you should have a soft modded Xbox.
Once your Xbox is done copying files, you can hit the big button to eject the disk and go ahead and take Splinter Cell out. You don't need it anymore and press A. And what this is going to do is ensure that you don't screw up your Xbox in the future by locking all of the files that you need for the soft mod in a place where you can't get to them. It's called Shadow C and uh, all of your important files are hidden away. So go ahead and do that. And that's it. You now have a soft modded Xbox. You'll now be able to play backups of Xbox games and put emulators onto your Xbox and back up your games to the hard drive if you want. Uh, there is so much that you can do with a soft modded Xbox. And I hope that tutorial was easy enough for you to follow because if you have an original Xbox, this is something you definitely should do. And that is going to do it for episode 37 of Retro Buyer's Guide. Thanks so much for watching. Please keep liking and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. I've been enjoying reading your comments as well, so please keep leaving comments. Guys, thank you so much for the support. I really am having a blast making these YouTube videos. And uh, until the next one, take care and happy collecting.